This is Queensland's scenic Sunshine Coast, and I'm ready to enjoy all this paradise has to offer. Ah, oh, yeah, with sunshine, with warm water, and plenty of waves, this is the main reason most people come to the Sunshine Coast. What if I told you there was something under the water that had these people questioning being out here at all? Because not far offshore, there's a group of locals with fearsome reputations. I'm at Double Island Point, north of Brisbane. And just off the coast lies Wolf Rock, home to one of the best shark dives in Australia. I'm heading out there to dive with a man who looks very at home at Wolf Rock. Dive master, Kevin Phillips. Kevin's not kidding when he says there are sharks under us. Wolf Rock is home for up to 60 pregnant grey nurse sharks at any one time. They look quite dopey when they're swimming around, don't they? That's because during the daylight hours, they're actually sleeping. Once the sun goes down, they can become a real shark and they start hunting. Is this a good idea? Of course. We'll be just fine. Of course we will. And before you know it, I'm 30 metres down. Kev's giving me the universal sign for sharks and we are right among them. They're suddenly very close indeed. And it's comforting to know that while they look fearsome, grey nurses aren't considered dangerous to humans, if left alone. They only breed every second year and, with a gestation period of up to 12 months, they have one of the lowest reproductive rates of any shark. They're slow-moving bottom dwellers but up until the 1980s were mistakenly believed to be man-eaters and hunted nearly to extinction. Their jaws are filled with almost 100 serrated teeth. Despite the scary size and shape, their teeth are actually not attached that firmly and they typically lose at least one a week. They're soon replaced by new ones, which sure keeps the tooth fairy busy around here. And if I'm understanding Kev's sign language correctly, it seems you can often find some of those lost teeth on the ocean floor. Bingo. Now that's an impressive fang. Another signal from Kev means there's something else close by that he wants me to check out. Ah, a turtle. This shy little guy is a loggerhead turtle and, to be honest, I don't blame him for lying a little low with these sharks around. I think it's about time to follow his lead and leave this mother's group to enjoy their maternity ward in private. Oh, that is just incredible. I mean, over 30 metres under with over 30 shots for company. Safe to say that is one very deep emotional experience. 